up against Bond for the Rebel Alliance. And the second half starts off much the same as the first at the pace of it. Coming from behind, stopping the Rebel Alliance jammer from getting any points and taking three of her own. That was some excellent, excellent work. She saw an opportunity and took it. Moody Bitch leads out with a heavy thump. Taking a five points there. This is a big opportunity for Sydney to not just close the gap, but overtake Northside Rollers again. Oh, and lovely, lovely footwork. Saw her moment and took it. Once again, the lead has changed. Sniper's trying to squeeze some extra points out. Excellent work, and the Snipers, a big power jam there. And unfortunately, in those final moments, the Snipers jammer has been sent for a back block. All that hard work earned has been overturned as the Rebel Alliance pick up a five-point pass. The jam did not end. Oh. Ooh. Is that right? Yeah, Sniper's got five points, I think, and they shouldn't have. Mind you, I've been watching Miss Ebola all night. She's one of my favourite jammers. support there and from a perceived disadvantage the snipers have managed to take lead jammer here <laughs> This has been a hugely exciting game. Very hard to pick a difference between the two sides.
Some heavy bumps, Liz manages to keep her feet. Another quick four points there for Sydney. The smash and grab takes them to 98 over 86. 12 points the difference. Now we have Bond stepping up for the Northern Rollers in the green. Up against Chagrin for Sydney. At 12 points, this is the largest lead I think Sydney's held, maybe 14 at one stage. And again. Once again, just some really sharp look out there. Great support from the pack. Oh, a heavy fall. But she's pulled a foul and the Cypers have lost their jammer. Northside have just formed a wall. It's pretty, pretty impenetrable tonight. Sydney trying the same at the back of the pack, but Bond is driving forward. Ah, oh, some really, really excellent dodge there. Taking the points, a full pass once again. Four points to Chapman. Wow, there's some excellent points picked up by Sydney there. A big lead suddenly now. It's gone out to 25 points. But as we saw in the first half, you can definitely come back from that in Derby. I'd just like to say, I think Sydney's got a bullet there. They lost their jam to the penalty box and have really suffered. But it was only blind like the Sydney Cypress Northern Rollers lost their jam shortly soon afterwards. And it was here at Jail Free. They could have gone really, really wrong for Sydney. Once again, Sydney with a slight numerical advantage. The jammer takes a fall. <laughs> Northside Rollers in control as the lead jammer.
we're back on for jam six of the second half. Just over 20 minutes left to go. We've got Tinker Hell versus Penelope pissed off. <laughs> She's had a stellar game so far tonight, Penelope. Oh, and once more through the back. So Northside really need to meet this Sydney kind of attack that seems to be just pushing away from them with some equal pressure that they had in the first half. Don't jinx it, Mal! Don't jinx it! Northside Rollers returning to the track after their time out here. A little bit of a regrouping needed just to settle themselves down. Take it back up to Sydney and make this deficit back. <laughs> she just bullied her way through the pack then. It was great to see. They certainly did not need that. <laughs> Once again, a turnaround. No power jammers. Both jammers are back on the track. <laughs> advantage given either way to either team then the scores remaining 28 points difference <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't forget all goods at our bake sale are down to one dollar. One dollar for everything on the bake sale table. I hope that is correct. You'll find out if you go over, but I believe that is correct. I'm getting a thumbs up from the cookeries. But a very chaotic, separated, in fact, <laughs> who's left on the field? We have three blockers on the track. Yeah. That is the Once again, we seem to be in the situation where there's going to be lots of points scored by both sides at this stage. Oh! An excellent, excellent bump there. An official review has been called for. As it stands, the uh, scoreboard is City Roll Edwards, Snipers 138, leading Melbourne's Northern Rollers, the Rebel Alliance on 108. This may be. 16 and a half minutes remaining on the clock. How's it going down there? Yeah, it's good. Good game. Mm. Um, Please bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. The referees are just conferring. The main two talkings are all legal and above board. Do you want some water? Do you want some water? Do you want any money? I'll go buy a drink. Yeah. Too bad.
And once again, Miss Ball approves her worth. This is what Northsider need. But Penelope Bistoff is hot on her tail. <laughs> Some nice body work there as she fiercely directs the team. The score remains at 34 points. Sydney 138 to 104. Northside Rollers. Sydney have done a great job of just separating the back up. Oh, Sniper's Jammer off. What? It's been the theme of the night, swapping jammers very quickly. Big hit there. The crowd enjoyed that. She's finding it hard work getting through the back. And a heavy knock. Ooh, another slide down. Ooh, a big hit there. Sydney Jammer goes down. I believe that is Roundhouse Ruby hitting the deck then. Again, an inconclusive jam. Sydney move ahead slightly, extending their lead to 39 points. It's a very full penalty box. You've got to be thinking someone's drawing close to uh, being expelled. I'm not on track of who's pulled the penalties, but there seem to have been a lot of them. Right, with just under over 12 minutes to go, Northside Rollers really need to have a regroup and bring back some of that intensity they brought to the first half. They shocked Sydney when they came out of the blocks fast. They need to find that mojo again. Missy Bowler lining up against Benelli pissed off. <laughs> It's only been a few points, but Sydney, little by little, are starting to push this game out of the reach of Northside. There's still two minutes to go. A couple of power jams could change all that. But Northside really need to take back the lead.
That's right, and Derby, if you want to score points, you need to stay on the track. And Northside are just finding that many of their team are spending too much time on the bench. <laughs> Here we go, speaking of jammers, two of my favourite ones tonight, Miss Ebola and Penelope Bistoff facing off. Again, the Sydney back is just working so well together. A really, really tight unit. Not a. As we mentioned before, up here we have a fabulous phone that has been found. It was found downstairs near the merch table. So if you are missing your phone, please come upstairs and see us at the commentary table. And we're getting ready to start again. Whistle has blown. <laughs> and Northside Rollers, Jamma is heading to the bin once more. <laughs> she showed some great desperation there to get to the track, really stretching out. Northside's pack is in disarray at the moment. They seem to have lost that team unity that they had. <laughs> Once again, Sydney taking lead jammer. They're staying on their feet and they're staying on the track. Northside lose another of their blockers. Believe that strife heading off. <laughs> Sydney. 
We've got three north side rollers in the bin at the moment. remaining once again Sydney working it hard at the front and have taken the lead <laughs> Thank you. 
We've got Roundhouse Ruby facing off against Liz in this jam. Has anybody been able to knock Liz She's pushing forward and Northside are in control. <laughs> Once again, the Northside back unable to keep the Sydney jammer. <laughs> <laughs> Mal. Mal. Entering the final two minutes of this bout. It's amazing how much energy this team has after such a heavy fought game. And that brings up the 200 for Sydney. Let's hear it. We have 007 Bond up against Penelope Pistoff. Bond's working hard. Both backs blocking. 